An Elkhart Medical Transport Company has been indicted by the federal government for billing fraud, identity theft, and other charges. Empowerment non-emergency medical transportation owned by Wanda Shorter abruptly shut down, leaving dialysis patients without a ride. But as WSBT's at Ernstis reports, the group that's picking up the slack is facing funding cuts of its own. For years, the Council on Aging of Elkhart County has provided transportation for the aged and disabled. Wednesday, it got a call from Elkhart Nephrology looking for help to transport 27 dialysis patients, people who had been regularly taken to their appointments by Empowerment Non-Emergency Medical Transportation, which suddenly closed. And they informed us that they had 27 patients that weren't able to get to nephrology yesterday because the company that normally transport them had been sanctioned by Medicaid and so could no longer do it. That 27 doesn't include other Medicaid medical appointments the company stopped transporting, so the Council on Aging is left to work in additional trips along with those it usually transports. Council on Aging says it will do the best it can under the circumstances, but add it will begin to be a challenge down the road given the fact that they will see a reduction in their transportation budget beginning in July. On average, Council on Aging already provides 1,000 trips a month for its transportation program. And this actually requires us to add about 300 plus trips a month. Um, and that's challenging, and especially when we're going to have a cut to our funding or a reduction to our funding, um, trying to figure out how we balance that and make sure that everybody needs transportation gets transportation. At Erstis, WSBT Channel 22 News. Council on Aging says it could use more volunteer drivers for the program and they would like to see if someone could lend them a van to help with the increase in transportation services. Well, the